Minnesota counties are finally receiving answers to the financial impacts of transitioning the new Minnesota state flag and seal. The Houston County Board of Commissioners passed a resolution opposing the updated designs back in December. Board members voiced concerns about the changeover's financial strain. For example, replacing law enforcement badges and squad cars with the new flag and seal. KIMT News 3's Brandon Cote is joining us with how the estimated cost is looking. Brandon. Yeah, Jess and Sananda, the, the Fillmore County Board of Commissioners shared the same concerns as Houston County. Instead of adopting an identical resolution, the board sent a letter to the state asking how rural counties like Fillmore are expected to handle this financial burden. According to the Fillmore County Board of Commissioners, the estimated cost of replacing the current Minnesota flag and seal is up to about $35,000. I spoke with Board Chair Dwayne Backey. He says the price tag would significantly impact the 2024 budget. Backey went on to say the state responded to the board's letter saying changes to the badges, uniforms, and vehicles for law enforcement officers is not required. Instead, it's up to each individual county. Backey says the news has been a relief and members can now focus on more pressing local issues. That's what's important is to work through the Association of Minnesota Counties and accomplish uh, goals and uh, legislative priorities that we have in place. Mm. Uh, the flag is, you know, this flag discussion is not one of our priorities. Backy he says the state told them only the county's recorder's office and its courtrooms are required to replace all the Minnesota old flags and seals with its new designs. He also tells me the board has no plans to adopt a resolution challenging the approved designs. All right, thank you, Brandon. Now the state's emblems redesign commission says the deadline for counties to convert to the new state flag and seal is May 11th. Five Minnesota counties, including Houston, are currently the ones who've adopted resolutions opposing the new flag design.